Hey everybody doing, it's Doc here, and welcome back to episode 11 of the College Football Revamped Dynasty Mode with the Kentucky Wildcats. So, we left off with going into a game against Georgia, and I was going to look at, you know, who might be hurt on their roster, because they are 5-5, five and five, but if you look, JT Daniels, presumably the starting quarterback, they do have a pretty deep QB roster, I'll give them that, but... He's currently out with broken ribs, and he's probable to return. So I don't know if we're going to see him this game. Probably not. But also they have Demetrius Robertson as well, who's an 80-rated receiver. So I can see why they've been struggling, but we still have to take this team serious. And also before we start this game, I was looking around at the roster just to check on a few things. And Michael Drennan II was kind of recruited as an athlete. I wanted to change him to a, a wide receiver because I think he has like some decent skills that would reflect that. But there's, I, let me know if you if you can find a way to change positions because I couldn't really find a way to make him into a wide receiver. So just let me know about that in the future here if you have a copy of the game. But I just could not find a way to change it through this means. So. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into this game against the Georgia Bulldogs. Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Wildcats have not only put together a nice winning streak, they're starting to play at a much higher level, and they've energized their entire campus. Now the question is, will they be able to handle everybody on campus patting them on the back, telling them how good they are, and telling them how they expect a big win in this one? Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. Okay, so here's Georgia. They actually won the coin toss and elected to receive and not kick. But there's Amir Y. That is someone we have to watch out for. I gotta try to contain the run. I think I think containing the run is gonna be the way to beat Georgia in this one. Okay, that looks like they're gonna go four wide and shotgun here. And they're gonna hit the corner. It's gonna be third and two. Not really sure what they're gonna do in a shotgun formation here. It looks like they're gonna run it. And we clog the outside and Zemir White's going backwards. That's gonna be a three and out. Hopefully they don't go for this on fourth and six, but three and out. Okay, if you hadn't noticed, we're actually going with a, kind of an alternate uniform. It's uh, white jerseys, but with chrome helmets. I do like the look of it. And we're just going to stick it on the ground for the first play of the game here. All right, so here we are in second and six with a few interesting routes. And he's just, yep, he's just out of bounds. All right, third and six, a lot of short routes here. Maybe we can get a first down. And circles open under the middle, but I didn't feel like I gave that play enough time to develop and that's going to be a three and out as well all right so in interesting uh pistol look here for georgia and it's going to be a screen pass and this time they get a first down so not really expecting to screen this early but it is what it is another twin back look here on first and ten and they're just going to go right up the gut kind of she probably should have went right up the gut but that's seven yards okay again in the pistol and again, right up the middle, but we're there for it this time. Going backwards for three yards. That'll set up a third and six. Okay, it looks like all their motions to the right side here. I think you know what we're going to do. And that is, I mean, that's just well thrown. Marcus R. Jack Saint. It's an interesting name. All right, first and ten again. Just a quick throw to the outside there, going inside, and that's going to be a game of six. Second and four. Georgia has been putting out some interesting looks. I'll give them that. And, yeah, that's just a good throw. They're just making good throws. All right, this looks like it could be a run play by Georgia. That is unlocked square. He just got completely thrown to the ground there as I tried to blitz the inside by number 75 on the offensive line. That's that's crazy. All right, so now they have it first and goal. Let's see if we can get a, a stand in the red zone here. And it doesn't look like it. I mean, Georgia looked extremely lethal. They do have JT Daniels back, obviously. Perfect six of six. Seems rather hard to stop. And it seems like we have Georgia's full attention. Here is Tisdale on the left side. 
And he's getting a little swervy with it. That's a 48-yard return, so field position, very good off the kickoff return. Okay, first and 10. We're actually going to hit him with the pass play. And that's open on the outside from Rose, but he's not going to get anywhere. I definitely thought we were going to gain yardage on that, but he stumbled a little bit. Okay, some mesh slants here. And that's open, but he can't catch it. Just hit him right in the side. All right, third and 11. We have no choice but to pass here. And we have some slot flags, so we're going to the outside with the slots, and we'll see what we can get. And that's just an inaccurate pass. This is... I don't know what's happening. All right, so Georgia has it on first and 10 here. And somehow they're going to hit Burton with that. I felt like he was in a position to make a play on defense there, but apparently not. Okay, new set of downs just like that. Man in motion. The outside, and they're going to hand it off inside, and that is a weird animation. James Cook, the third, negative three. All right, shotgun formation again. We're kind of going with a half-hearted blitz here just to keep things interesting. And we actually get pressure to JT Daniels. Look at that. Okay, we're definitely going to drop back in coverage here on a long situation. He's going to get decked. Kyrus John, or not Johnson, but Jackson, rather, involved early, but three and out. Okay, so we have to find George's weakness on defense because I think that's going to be a key to exploiting them, but they do have a 95 rated defense, which is not pleasant. Okay, second and six, we're going to go back to the air. Let's try to get it going. Rose is open, but he can't catch it. I don't know what is happening. I feel like I gave him plenty of space to run with. We're going to go five wide on third down here. Hopefully someone will get open here. The Epps is open. Hit him right on, on cue for it. And that's going to be a first down. Right, another first down run. We'll see what we can get here. Rodriguez, they closed the gap so fast. It also didn't help that he got stuck on the offensive line. See if we can get anything here. Ali is open across the first down marker. So we're, we're getting involved a little bit in the passing game. We'll see where it goes from here. But struggles early. Let's see if we can break out of it. All right, we're going to go with some halfback base before the end of the first quarter here. I was about to say, you better pick up that block. And that should... Whoa, he got up. What happened here? He got up for a half second. But it's going to be a gain of five. We're going to go back to the run game here. Basically the same play, just slightly altered a little bit. And that's going to be a gain of five, basically four and a half. So third and inches. Okay, so we're going to try to keep Georgia guessing here by tempting them with the pass, but we're actually just going to go to the run. And that's going to be a first down. Okay, so we're going to hit Georgia with some play action after a few successful passes here. And I don't see anybody really that open. I mean, we had routes in motion. Some people open for like a half second, but nothing comfortable. All right, so we're going to go five wide on second and ten. We'll see if someone can break open. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Thomas gets ten. That's going to be first and goal. First and It's actually first and ten, but it's not really first and goal. But it's kind of first and goal. So we'll see what we can do here on a, on a run, and that's unblocked. All right, so an interesting look here. We got people going every which direction. And triangle's open. And again, Thomas getting involved. We're down to around the four or five yard line. We'll see if we can get a touchdown. Okay, so we got a lot to work with here on third and four. We'll see if anything becomes open. I had to get rid of the ball and everyone's covered. Rose was gonna flash open, but we're just gonna have to take the three. All right, again, they're gonna spread it out a little bit. And I don't know what just happened on my screen. I'm going to go to a sort of a goal line set, kind of risk it for the biscuit here. And he's, oh, I thought the pressure was going to get to him just in time, but they actually pass it. All right, new set of downs for Georgia. And that run is going nowhere as he's rumbling, bumbling, and stumbling back. It's, all right, second 17. we got to be aware of a run just in case here, but... Uh, quarterback tried to. JT Daniels again going backwards. Not taking any chances here. Going to play a custom zone with Pascal. That's, yeah, you know what this is. You know what this is already. So Georgia going nothing but backwards on that drive. All right, first and 10 again. It's going to be an inside run by Rodriguez. And that is pretty good for seven yards. 
Again, we're going back to the ground because that seems to be what is working against Georgia here for the most part. Seems like our offensive line is providing a spark. And go down, go down, man. It's fine. All right, so this is an interesting look in the Wildcat. I'm bringing it out against the Bulldogs. And it's going to be a fake jet sweep. And Rose is just going to follow the blocks. And you know what? If he held that block on the outside a little bit longer, that could have been a very explosive play. All right, second and six. Going with a little bit of slants. And Triangle's going to flash open eventually. He's... Thomas has been so involved today. For some reason, he's the one that's getting open. All right, we're going to hit him with another play action here. See if anyone can get open immediately. Okay, so I wanted to throw that way earlier, but it would not let me throw it whatsoever. And that was the result. All right, so it's third and nine. We're just going to try to get the first down. Rig is open. Hang on to it, man. Okay, so we're going to try to make Georgia pay for being a little bit overzealous and go with a screen pass because it seems like they're very committed to either stopping the pass or trying to get us with a blitz or something like that. So, nine yards. Again, we're just going to spread it out and run with Rodriguez here. I do like this combo look. And we are down to about the three. Let's try to pound some clock, pound the ball. Okay, so this play looks relatively good. We are spreading them out, thinking maybe we're going to go with a pass, but this is going to be an A.J. Rose touchdown. I mean, that, that's just been our go-to play on the goal line for the most part this season. It's almost kind of cheesy at this point, but trying to be competitive against this competitive Georgia team. Okay, here's Georgia. Let's see if they can get anything going here. And he's going to sprint out here, and we're going to tackle him just short. All right, twin back look here. Let's see. Surely they're going to stick to the air because that, why not at this point? And he just throws it out of bounds. Okay, again, third and one. And I literally, I got in the way of my own player there. So they're going to get the first down out of it. Okay, again, another first and ten. We're going to back off with Pascal here. And that's going to be right to the outside. Seven seconds left. Let's see what they can do. Okay, let's see. We are playing somewhat deep here. And he's just going to throw it. And that is going to be picked off by Watson. That is the only the second miscue of the game from JT Daniels. And he threw one ball away. Just under through this. Tried to hit him on the outside. I could see what he was doing. But we're just going to need this out. Okay, we're going to open play again in the third quarter here with another counter. Because it seems like... The more we get Rose involved, the, the better we've been against Georgia. Rodriguez as well, but I do like Rose's presence. So again, we're going to stick with what's working here. The passing game has not done much for us compared to the run game. Run game has been solid no matter who's out there. So we'll see if we can't use the run to set up the pass. Again, we're going to stick to the ground, just pound it. I mean, look at these holes. This is this is ridiculous that George is just letting us do this. Okay, we are going to hit them with some play action roll movement. And that, that was something else. Slide, Wilson. So that was kind of a read option pass. That was like an RPO in the moment. All right, new set of downs. We're actually going to go to the air, it appears. And that is open over the middle. Josh Ali. I would love it for him to get open more. Okay, so here is a quick draw play with Rose. And I thought they were going to bust through the line there, but not quite. Again, we are running all over Georgia. All right, so we're going to actually go with a pass play that has some high upside here. And let's just hit Oliver over the middle. That's going to be a 10-yard gain. And it's first and goal at the six. Okay, normally it's very odd to go with a play-action play on at this juncture, but I think where we've been running it so often, it could actually, uh, I, there were options, but I was going to play it safe. There were definitely options here. All right, second and goal, just some easy slants here. Look at that. Thomas is wide open. If anyone was going to get a receiving touchdown, it was going to be him. He was the only one on that stick route, and I've adapted the playbook to where we have more of the slot sticks because that is extremely effective. They're obviously playing a zone, which is a mistake in that instance. 
All right, so twin back look for Georgia. Let's see if they can respond after that. And Zamir White's not going anywhere. All right, so new look for Georgia. Man in motion. They might run the ball again. We're going to get picked up, and Zamir White's going to get a few here to set up a third and four. Okay, we're going with a 100% man look. They do not have anyone in the backfield. I'm going to keep an eye on this guy. It's currently in motion. We definitely need to. And I think that was supposed to be... Oh, no. That was supposed to be a flare screen. Yeah, what, what's the flag here? That's going to be... They're going to call offensive pass interference on Jack Saint. We catch a break there. Third and 14 here. Let's see. That's going to be short. They know, you're running that play, you know the momentum is going to carry you out. So, All right, so don't fix it if it isn't broken. Back to the ground. And only a yard that time, but I definitely saw a gap there. And that Georgia player just got knocked over. Okay, so I think Georgia's biting, biting on play action more than usual. Square is going to... Oh! Oh, whoa, whoa, I didn't think he could get there. Josh Ali makes a man miss, and that's 38 yards. That was something else. I did not think Josh Ali was going to break to this ball. Look at this route. I was like, okay, eventually he can get open, but he stops as soon as I lobbed it. He went in, and I didn't think this was going to be complete. Right over the defensive player's head. Josh Ali making a man miss. Very shifty. All right, so after that play, we're going to go back to the air since it seems to be working. I'm going to hit Rick. Yep, I thought that was going to be over Rig's head, but I was making sure he could stay in bounds and run with it. Okay, second and four. If everything goes correct, as you can see here, it's five on five. If we pick up the correct blocks, Terry should have positive yardage. Oh, he's definitely positive, but I don't know if it's worth the hit, and that's why I don't like necessarily running with Terry all the time, but third and one. It looks like Georgia might be prepared for this, but I am prepared to go for him fourth down if we don't get this. I do like the looks of it, though. And might have went through the wrong hole. It's fourth and two. We got a decision on our hands. Okay, so I think I've decided to do the responsible thing and take the fill goal. Let's see if rough. No. That's, that's not it, Ruffalo. I don't know what I was missing there. Ruffalo just not accurate. Okay, so let's see what Georgia can do. Obviously not in the greatest field position there. Samir White has been contained from all angles today. Second and 11 now from about the 20. And that's going to be hit over the middle. That's George Pickens for a gain of 10. It's going to be third and two. Third and two, let's see what they go with here. They've been inclined to pass on this usually, but this looks like some sort of a run play, and we have it. That's Pickens on the sweep, and he's unable to go anywhere. We read that from the very beginning. Almost got blocked and almost gave it up, but fourth down. Okay, so the defense looks to want to stop the pass on this play, but A.J. Rose is going to run right up the gut. For seven yards and we are into the fourth quarter all right here we are in second and three we're going to go to the air and rig can't quite catch it i think it was deflected okay so we're going to be kind of cheeky here and go with a third down screen normally in a third and short this isn't something you would pick necessarily but there's rose juking his way for a first down all right so we're going to get a little bit tricky with the twin back look and have rodriguez go in motion as Rose kind of blasts up the middle there, gain of four. Okay, we've actually not ran a strong toss yet, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. That's going backwards. They definitely seem to read that from the get-go. Okay, so I really like the look of this play, especially with Harris's route. So we'll see if he can break open. And look at that. He drops it, though. Wow. Okay, first and 10 after the punt. They're going to get it at the 25 here and know where to go with the football. Okay, second and 10 now. JT Daniels with an immediate screen pass and he went the wrong direction. If he went around the backside, we did not have that cover. That probably went the first down. But instead, only two yards. All right, third and eight. We're going to sink into coverage just a little bit, make it look 
interesting. Kind of cover anything over the middle. And yes, I think the only thing we were giving up there was a very specific over-the-middle route deep downfield. So I'll take that. Okay, so here we are with the counter on the right side. And nothing much going there. I do want to melt some clock because we do have a two-possession lead here. Okay, so second eight, we're actually going to go to the pass play. Hopefully we can hit someone for a short yardage out of this. And I see square... I mean, I also saw 83 there, but Oliver was way more wide open and serviceable. Okay, just pounding inside with Rodriguez here. And we're going to get a gain of three on the play. Georgia not calling any timeouts. Okay, again, inside zone split to the right side this time. And Rodriguez is going to knock on the door of a first down. We're going to go right back to almost the same play. And... That is going to be a first down, and Georgia's going to start calling their timeouts. Okay, Rodriguez with an inside run. And, oh, makes a man miss. That's a lot of agility out of uh, Rodriguez, normally just known for power. But made a man miss that time. Okay, this time we're going to go with a Rose run. Give Rodriguez a break. And Rose even being productive with five. Another Georgia timeout. Okay, we're going to go with a Rodriguez inside handoff this time. Actually audible to that. And that's going to be seven yards of first down and basically game over. Okay, this time we're going to go with a halfback sweep to the left side. Actually go inside. And that's going to be two yards. Clock is still ticking. I'm actually going to try to pound one in if we can. A halfback draw here as usual. Rodriguez, three yards, and we're going to third down. All right, so halfback power here to the right side. And he's going to be brought down, but I, th I think we're going to go for this last second. Okay, fourth and goal doesn't hurt to go for it at the end here. Maybe put up some extra points on the board. And there is Rig with the touchdown. So 24-7 to to end this game. Actually, it might be 23-7. to I don't know if they're going to give us the point after try. And it looks like they do here, so that... Is going to put a cap in this game. Georgia looked very lethal early, but they just could not capitalize on the passing game after so long. I think that's where they definitely shine. We sought out to stop the run game, but, you know, Terry Wilson throwing for two touchdowns is not something you'd expect in a run-heavy game. It seems like normally the passing game will get us to a point where our running game can score touchdowns and knock on the door. But this time around, it was the running game getting us up the field. And for the most part, the passing game being the closing weapon at the end. So sort of a reverse game here and a tough game against Georgia. Their defense came to play. Their offense came to play early. But after so long, we were able to shut them down. Okay, we'll take a look at the game stats quickly. 16 of 26 started very slow for Terry, but picked up after so long and it was actually able to throw for two touchdowns now jt daniels 17 of 20 143 one and one i mean he had a great day it just didn't reflect in the scoreboard at all and then their running game obviously if you look at that that's that's a pitiful attempt at a run game for georgia in this one for sure no one with any notable things there rodriguez the bulk of the carries today but if you look at the average you know, we have two backs that were lethal today, 4.3 and 4.4. Rose seemed like he gained a lot more than that on the ground, but, you know, Rodriguez taking the bulk of the carries on today. When it came to receiving, kind of spread out. Ali's big gain is uh, what you see there in the stats, but, you know, evenly spread out, no one really dominating the passing game today. For Georgia, on the other hand, they had a few guys get involved, especially with Karis Jackson, this Marcus R. Jack Saint guy, who I'm just unfamiliar with, but that is an awesome name. And there you go with the offense. Okay, so here's an updated look at recruiting before we go into the next week. Uh, it looks like we have Josh Chase if we want him, but I've also started recruiting Matt Smiley because he has a 70 overall. And, you know... I've been trying to find people off camera because it's it seems like a tedious thing to sit through and watch all the time. 
but you will see some new names here as we close the schedule down. So same halfback situations. It really looks like we're going to get these guys. And when it comes to wide receiver, Corey Bell starting to get out of reach, and we added Mike Slaughter just in case. For tight end, Jay Harris, we've actually fallen behind on, but we are trying to close. It looks like he might, what is that, Bowling Green? I don't I don't know about that. And then Notre Dame's ahead of us too. Oop, did not mean to do that. Mike Williams in the lead, and then Eric Robertson as well in the lead. He's six foot seven. I think one of these is a better blocking tight end than the other, if we have to go that route. Uh, I did not want a quick save. Jimmy Walker we had the lead for, obviously. Matt Harris is someone I've added after Willie Young has officially went to Clemson, so I'm going to remove him as a prospect. Guard, Austin Brooks, we have the lead for, and I've added Brandon Martin, but we'll see if there's any more that come up there. No centers on the roster. Marvin Harrison, again, good football name to have, and then Marcus Brown just in case. We're maybe signed both of them as well just to have. And then Danny Harris in the lead here. We're making sure we're staying on top of Washington. Now, I looks like I saved in the process of scouting a lot of outside linebackers. Yeah, no points. I think I've already. I think I want to say I've already scouted these people. So, yeah, I've just been trying to. This is how I've been looking for positions. Just looking at people that aren't heavily scouted and see if I can find gems that way. But we do have the lead for Jamal Flynn. Middle linebacker, kind of want to find a new one if we can out of this. For corner, we just have Jeremy Turner. It looks like he's locked and loaded, ready to go. Matt Roberts, safety. Kicker, Daniel Jackson. Although we might get one of these punters and convert them to kicker, you can do that. And then athlete, we just have a storm of athletes that look like they're ready to play here. Antoine McKinney is someone that I was looking at. And there you go as far as scouting. Okay, so we have a coaching upgrade after simulating a week. And we're going to go and upgrade the closer to week two so we can have a little bit more points to work with here. And let's see. Yes, we would like to save the changes. And I'm not going to cover anything else in this video. We'll go over more season stats in depth as we move on here to close the season it might be like a final thing that we do but we're gonna be at home against tennessee they're seven and four but hope you guys have enjoyed this one and as always have a nice day